Hello everybody and welcome once again to New Attercraft to Refresh Your Eyes for Minecraft 115. Today we are going to write some more programs. We're going to write two programs really. Um, one to build a wither and one to control the opening for the wither, I say the door controller. I'd also like to use an external program for this so we'll have to write a sort of a very tiny program to start with. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is to build a, a network API I think it's called and that's this red one here. I should have all the bits just die plastic in the chest and we're going to use this to store the program in and we can give it a name as well. Uh, I'm also going to make uh, another upgrade for the sword because it's actually got another strength upgrade in here. So if you look at this it's got strength 2 but there is a strength 3 upgrade. And if we can look for this we can actually look at the uses for this and then we can see that we have what do we have in here? That's uh, an area of effect 3. The one we want to do is a strength 3. So we need two diamond swords and two blocks of quartz. Blocks of quartz we can easily do like that. No problem whatsoever. So two, block, two blocks of quartz. And of course we need supreme essence. And we need the, the previous level of um, upgrades. So we need the strength 2 upgrade augment. So let's take those out of there and get started with this. Dead easy, dead quick. Oh, look. Endermen's waiting there to be collected. I th don't know, remember whether I told you I've got the Enderman seeds. Anyway, I have got the Enderman seed, and I've got because I've got the Enderman seed, I've actually got quite a lot of Ender pearls. Uh, I have to, you have to grind about at least forty Endermen to get the seed. So now we've got this two there and the two there. So it doesn't actually matter which way we put them. I'm not even sure if it work, if it works like this. We'll try it just for fun. Like that and of course I need to put the augment in, the, in here to start with press the button and sure enough it works um, so it doesn't matter where you put almost anything in there this one sort of glows the other upgrades don't my jump I may have <laughs> I upgraded the jump boost to max level as well I don't know whether I told you that but these things are very straightforward and I don't really bother too much going through them each time and then we got the strength 5 upgrade so we can then take the sword out with a strength 3 now looking at this now we have a, a plus 20 attack damage so we've got a 44 attack damage on this thing <laughs> that's almost enough to grind uh, almost everything I think except for of course wither in one go so now the program You'll see I've set out at this area here, put a bed in here, and I've got some bits and pieces. I put down um, a collector drone just so we can collect pieces while I was testing this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to write the first part of the program. I'm going to do it in several steps, to be honest with you. So the, I'm going to call this one um, drone program. We're going to call it Wither Program, aren't we? Spell it right. Sometimes I'm typing and keys don't get set. There. So this is then has a name Wither Program like this. Um, I have th two drones ready to be used for this. I've already labelled them. But let's get started. Of course, we need the first thing. We need a start piece fairly straightforward and what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to do sl something slightly different I'm going to read um, a value from the um, from a point and what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically set a little button and I'm going to set onto that button a piece of redstone when the when the redstone goes the program's going to start so the first thing we need to do is we need an if block you see I've got advanced in here I still don't need advanced just yet We'll press um I'll press tab on here. And the one I want is the redstone one. So if you type in red in here, you should see the the two pieces of redstone. We've got the condition here, which is what we want. So it needs a it needs a place and it also needs a text label, which is the text label is where it goes to. And it'll I'm also going to put here a standby program as well. I'll have to type in there. <laughs> get rid of that. So I want a standby program, but you always want a standby program at the end of these things, just in case. You never know. So I also want a text widget, so I'll bring a text widget. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to 
I think to start with we'll just go to a place and then stop will probably be the first thing to do so the true condition so we need some more bits and pieces to get those out so I need a label where I'm going to and I also need well I suppose we're just going to go to let's press go rid of this one just a go to piece down here like this go to location when it's done its business so we'll say um let's have a look let's we'll give this command build with a like that this is the text label and that's where it's going to go to if the condition is true so let's put let's move this one over here like this and then control and middle drag or middle drag the widget across to here so you go down here like this and then it's going to go to a position and we shall also do a standby here as well we have to specify the position and we have to specify the position for this so let's get the GPS tool out here and I also need a button and a I haven't got them in there I've got them in here so I've got some button and redstone and you'll see I've got some drones already prog programmed up so we'll take the wither drone to start with got nothing in it we'll put the, this program into here um, actually I won't do that for the time being so where are we going to stand I think we'll stand somewhere about here like this and we'll put onto this a, a button down here like that and then we're going to put a piece of redstone down dust down here like that leading into the button so when you press the button it gives a little signal and that's enough to start the program so then we have to specify this program so let's get the um, the GPS tool out and left and right click it so that's the two positions you'll notice it's actually the block above because the redstone has a, has some depth it, it's also night time but I think I can do this safely enough if not we'll have to have a quick sleep so this is the position we're going to read like this you'll notice whenever I do this it never really clicks in so I want to just always move it into place so now it should go over here so let's go to a location in fact we might as well go to the same location as this one there's no reason for it not to try again like that um, I think that's probably about all we need to do I was just thinking about uh, moving somewhere else if this button's changed we could do that as well but for the time being I don't think we need to so just we we'll put doesn't matter we we'll just put it down and run the program so we need a program in this now so I need to save this into this network API so it's it's actually got the program in it like this and we can just put it down here like this now I can remove this program if I want to take the um, with the program back again and click it like this and you'll see it comes back again so I don't want to do that just yet I want to do it the, the next bit to run this externally so what we need to do now is we just clear this off uh, we know that we need another start piece we also need a run external program so let's look for that one number called external it'll be this one here external program and this just needs a an area we'll also put a standby piece in this as well so let's press uh, tab and standby like that so it's going to run the external program when we specify where the location of the program is I'm going to put the program into the program control here so we can simply update the program as we run along so I just have to shift and right click left and right click at this time to move the position to this like that let's open up the program and put this here see it never links in it's still red there we go now it's red now it's green so it's just going to run this program with this in the controller and exit so let's put the this drone into here the wither drone into here and program it like that so it's ready to go we need to put the program back again because it hasn't got one. we can get get rid of this program of course and then not do anything in here to start with so there's no program to run we'll simply put the drone down here like this and it should just go to sleep and maybe it doesn't want to go to sleep let's, have a, let's see if we can debug it and see what it's actually doing So it's running an external program that doesn't exist yet. 
<laughs> so it's not doing anything so it's waiting for the program fine and you'll see it's actually got a little little um i don't know what you describe a sort of a little puff of smoke sort of thing here when you're looking at it saying this is where it needs to be so let's put this into here like that and then bring the program out because we can see what's doing like that so now it should have stopped so if we look at this drone again let's go to the program we can control u and then we can click program debugger here so it's now main stop so it's basically here it's stopped i think it's actually running this program in here so it's probably just down here like this i didn't um check i didn't say set anything in here um what it's doing is redstone and it needs to be more than one or greater than one so when you press a button it's 15 and the direction is up so that's the direction from the redstone dust so now let's press this button here like this so the drone should simply move here and sit down and go back to sleep again fine as you saw so now let's carry on with this program i'll have a quick sleep because <laughs> the miniguns are a bit irritating i'll be back in a second so now we want to carry on with this program this is the advantage of doing this where you can sort of develop the program as you want it without having to do anything else so we've got this bit working so we can to start the program and it just comes along here and goes back to standby fine so let's move this out of the way in fact i don't need the go to program either in to start with so what we want to do now is we want to import from an inventory in fact i'm going to get the items out of here that i actually want i'm going to use slime blocks as well <laughs> as a starting point so we've actually developed the program um the reason for that is I don't want to create withers until the program's working 100%. Otherwise, you will have a wither that might be flying around doing nasty things. So let's get started with this. So what I want to do is I want to import from inventory. So let's just press um, tab again and then type import. So we want to import from an inventory. The other ones are import fluids, um, import entities. I don't think we can actually Im and import RF. Uh, we, we don't have any RF in this pack, so that's no big deal. So we're going to import from the inventory. We're going to specify the inventory, which of course is going to be the chest to the right of the controller like this. So we shall shift and you have to shift left click and right click to get the, that point. Let's open up this again and then specify which, what we're going to import in here like this. And then we're going to say what we're going to import. So we're going to import some soul sand. So let's drag this in, the item piece in here. So right click it, imp search inventory, we've got soul sand here. Okay. There's no there's no MBT data in city with soul sand. We want to use a use count and we want to import four items because that's what how many we use in uh, to create a wither. Like this. Um and that fact that's going to do so it's simply going to run along here now it's going to import from this inventory and it's going to put them so now we have to put the blocks down and this is where actually this is where the things like slime blocks become quite handy because they're easy to break and you'll see that <laughs> that didn't quite work as i wanted it to Rose, the controller has a sort of slight uh, updating bug i think anyway so now what we want to do is we want to place the uh, the items down so let's look for um place and sure enough there's a place here and what it can do is it can place a, a range of blocks so we have to specify two ranges so what i'm going to do first of all is i will come down here and put into here this actually thinking about it probably better to use soul sand for this one i'll take four pieces of soul sand out of here because that, that breaks fairly easily too so uh, no big deal so we're going to put it down here we want to place one block here to start with so we need the um, the tool back again so we can shift left and right click this because you can't do a t shape with easily we may be able to do that later on but to start with it's pretty difficult to do a t shape in terms of shapes so the position we want to place this block is here and we want to also we can simply take move this one properly across the lines so we can take just middle drag this item across i don't think that's linked in 
yes it has and then we can do repeat this item block here so we're going to bring it down like this and we're going to not use the same area we're going to take this piece down here like that and then we're going to create a new area piece well obviously we use it we use this and this time we do want to create an area so let's go back up here you'll see that this is actually closed but I did put a lever on here so I can open it up when when I want to work on it I have to be pretty careful doing that obviously you don't want to have it that on otherwise the drone can't close the door so we can put these down here like that and like like that and we can then use the GPS tool to select it doesn't matter which direction you're going so we'll say this is the first piece and right click this is the second piece so there's the area it's going to place down next so let's come along here and now put into the into the program well, obviously we've got to be careful we don't use the programmer on the on the program other it'll change things put the piece down here like that link it in so there and now it should start to build the, um, the first part of let's, let's test it anyway let's put these two pieces down here like that and the standby and give it a test so it should build the first part of this now one of the reasons I've brought this con this drone with me the collector drone here is I can simply alt and break all those blocks stand out of the way the drone will pick them up and it'll put it back into here into this chest as you, as you can see so now 24 pieces in there so let's come along now and press the button and that should send the drone off again and it hasn't done oh of course because I've forgotten to actually program this widget you'll see the number of pieces it's got two text widgets it hasn't got any import or export from inventory so let's just click this now and then have a look now you should see import from inventory and go to locate condition redstone yes and place so you've got two place blocks and items in there try that again so there he goes it takes four blocks of out soul sand out there it goes into the top and places it up like this and sure enough we've got the first part of the T that we need for the wither fantastic We'll break this again because we need to like that. Now sometimes things go wrong. So what I'm, all I'm going to do to get things to go right again is to check, add another ex export into this. Let's drag these out of the way. Uh, bring this up a bit higher. And we're going to it's place the blocks. But if it has to, if it's got a bug in the program, which quite often happens, we want to get rid of the stuff. So I want to export all the items that we've got now back into the chest. Oh, that's not a new that's export fluid sorry let's get the right one so we want to export items which is this one good from inventory and the inventory we're going to uh, is just the chest here so if it's got anything lying around in its inventory it'll put it back so the next thing we'll do is now grab out of the, the heads um, now there's two ways to do this this program will become quite long so what I'd like to do is now is to split it up and wrap it around here so what we need is just a text widget like this we also want I want a new one of these so we'll just clone this across like this and this text widget we're going to do we'll call it continue well, let's say continue build heads place heads like that so that's now got place heads and now all we need is a jump um, block you can click this as well of course and here we've got jump so we're going to simply jump from here to here so we'll just drag this across like that and you can see it's linked in so now the flow is going to go down here it's going to go up to place heads and we're going to place heads so obviously the first thing we need to do is to also grab the items out of the same place because I'm going to put them in the same place so let's do that like that we're going to specify what we're going to want so let's put the uh, we're going to replace this with slime uh, blocks to, to start with so let's search inventory and we'll put the slimes in here like this and then we're going to long, come along here and we're going to say we want three was, you see the use count remained because I dragged it across so we want three slime heads so now we need to place them now placing them is actually slightly harder than placing the three um, here and the reason it's harder is because 
there isn't enough space for the drone to fly in. So let's just put them down so we're, we're, where we actually want the heads. You, you remember when I build this manual, you can actually put everything in like this. That's no problem. So what I'm going to do is that I can't reach these once I put the put the middle piece in. So let's get the the program out, the GPS tool out here like this. I'll say the first head I'm going to put down is here like this. You see, it moved up one block, which is where the head location, which is fine. So we come along here, we carefully remember not to right click the chest, otherwise we get the second point messed up. So we want to place it down here like this. So this is going to be the first of the three heads. Um, what I've found is it, it might work, we'll try it. So this is the first of the three heads. Let's um, do an X, a place again, we need another place block, so let's just take this. The order in this case it says order from low to high. So the place we're going to place it is here, and we're going to use this item. I don't have to do this because it's only got these items in its inventory, so we could leave it like without this. That would save a piece, but for clarity, it might be a good idea just to do this. Now, so what it does now, if I do and du duplicate this again here like this, and say so I can actually put the next two heads down, which I can, it doesn't work for some reason or other. So, <laughs> so we're going to get this program out of here and we're going to specify, first of all we're going to specify, you'll see that's the place, so we're going to use this one this time. Let's specify two places like this and then put the middle one as a second place, like that. So we're going to place those two pieces down. It should just place the two pieces down. But from my earlier trials it didn't work. But it doesn't matter, we'll see if it does work this time. So let's just put this down here like this. Uh, it needs linking in, of course. And we also get this. Oh, in fact, I could actually test the sword now, couldn't I? A zombie here worth testing it on. <laughs> yes, no problem whatsoever. So now, you see the collector drone's gone and picked up the rotting flesh as well and put it into this chest. Great, like it. So let's put these back items in. Items back in here. Finish this side off. So that should place the heads down. So we'll copy this piece across here like this. We'll just go back and we'll do exactly the same thing as we've done before. And then we'll go back to sleep like this. And then it's the same place, of course. We'll put those down there. Just to make sure we haven't got any heads in its inventory when we move to the next step so that should work let's run the put the program into the controller come along here we need to remove these three otherwise it won't work oops i should have like that so now let's run it should work and it should place the heads down so let's come along here. I've got this program. Oh, let's just turn off the um, the debug entity tracker for the time being. I don't really need it on because you can't see anything with an external program anyway. So it's taking the place those nicely, and then it placed those two nicely. Then now it comes along and it should take the slime blocks for heads. So it's taken the first one, and now it should place the second one, but it didn't, and I'm quite sure why. Well, let's if, we, if I run it again, it's like carry on from where it is. Let's just run it again. Like that. So it's got, this time it's picked up three slime blocks and correctly placed them into position like this. And it's got that one which has come back and it's put it back into the chest. That's why I put those in there. So let's, that's probably sufficient, but let's do something else. I'm just going to try something. If I split these two up, because it works over this side but didn't work over this side. If I split these two up here, and then we'll have this go to position here like this. I'll bring this one in here, and we'll, actually we'll reuse the same position, why not? Like that. So now let's pro oh I've got, I didn't click the program button, did I? I have to remember to do that. Very important. But I'll have a quick sleep because there's still a load of mobs around. I'll see you in a second. Right, so now 
Oh, I have to. Of course, I forgot. There's a few mobs which are still out. Let's just let's just break those blitz out of here, and of course, I'm going to break these out of here as well. Oops! If I can jump up on the right place, like that the collector drone should pick up anything I've dropped. Let's make sure I haven't got anything in here. Actually, somehow I managed to pick up those four. So let's see if this works. So it should come along here. Do the rest of it, as you can see, nice, like that. And then it should go and get the um, the three slime blocks, which it pro which it has. Puts one down. Now it should come over here like that and then it should go back again and hopefully it'll place the other two we'll see yeah perfect okay now this is almost complete but we'd have to close the door now the way I'm going to close the door is I'm going to tell this drone um, to go to one place nearer so I'm going to put a piece of redstone down just here as it happens And I'm going to use the GPS tool on here and um, we'll set the GPS that position that's there instead of going back to the other position we'll also just go to this location I could have put a slime block down just as it, just in case so the one I want to do is this one so I just want to go to this position here you saw it move a little bit here and we'll also have it going if it, um, actually that's fine okay so the last thing we're going to do here is gone to this position we want to activate a redstone signal so let's do that as well so there's another redstone block repress tab and this is this one it emits a redstone signal you can put it on here like this and then you need a text label to tell it what to admit emit and it's just a number between 1 and 15 if you're not if you're not sure what what the what the values are you can actually press i i haven't got the book with me but it does actually open up and you see that it gives you a lot of information about the, the particular widget so this was the jump widget yeah that's that one so that one should do and it will sit here now it goes to this position emits the red zone signal of 15. so all i need to do now is to remove this like that um actually thinking about it that's a bad idea <laughs> the reason it's a bad idea let's go to here and I want to go to this position instead <laughs> the reason it's a bad idea is it will trigger it to go again and I don't want to trigger it to go it to go again so let's just put it down into this position here like that and then program this one so that's this position here You'll see when I click this, it should move the, the end two digits from 145 to 142. Now, I don't need this piece of red, redstone dust. Let's remove it because it's going to go to this one and therefore it'll, it'll illuminate this one. So let's see if this works. Obviously, I've got to break the stuff again. Can't reach those from there. The drone should pick those up. I think I did break those and the collector drone should pick those up. So, oh yes, that's right. It did actually pick them up. So let's see if this now works. So it, sure enough, it starts up, does the business as we expected to do. Did I forget to program the? You know, I think I forgot to program the thing in. Yes, I did because it didn't come to this place. So sorry about that. I'll just do it again. Let's <laughs> remember to program it in every time. It isn't always that easy to remember. I'll do this again. In fact, I'll tell you what, I'll come back in a second. This time I did program it. So now we've got the slime blocks. Of course these would I will change the program when we finished to actually put down the heads here <laughs> otherwise of course it's going to create the weather we don't want to do that just yet as I said before so now it's going to come and sit here and turn this on great perfect now this signal here we are going to use to control another drone 
So let's come along here and come up to this chest. So that program is complete. We've got it programmed into here. That's great. So now I'm going to program, get rid of all those places like that. And I'm going to come along into this chest here and actually going to put up the, the door drone here. Again, this drone hasn't got any program in it just yet. It's a good idea to you can right click it out here so nothing comes out of the drone. It's a good idea to always make sure you do that. Now this one is going to do the same start as the other program. So let's get the same start going. So we need the start piece. We need the redstone module. What we want is the detecting of the redstone signal, which is this one. The place we're going to do is the same place as the... I will have to go and do it, actually. Let's just come along here and program it in. Like that. As you can see, that's now programmed into this one. So, again, let's take this position. So, if this is on this time, we're going to give it a text label that's going to say um close the door because this is only on when the drone isn't doing anything as you can see it's on at the moment the drone's not busy everything's built okay that's the intention so we're going to have a um we can want them close the door okay ready for it so the door is how we're going to close the door so obviously we need the we need to duplicate this and we need this is a condition and the other condition on the other side of course is going to be open door so let's just do might as well set that up at the same time like that now and i also need the two the two jump um jump labels so i need the labels in here for where it's got to go to and let's jerk that one across over here and drag this across into it so you get the two positions that's obviously not quite right because oh because we've got no pieces underneath them that's what i'm going to do so what i'm going to do now is i'm actually going to start another red zone signal um so let's get the press tab again and get the red zone piece out which is this one like that we're going to do it on this one as well in fact it's going to set emit to all sides we can change this but for the timing we don't need to as you can see i could put this one to emit from this side <laughs> i'll have to put the map on to actually be sure which side that is oops wrong one it's alt and that one so that is in fact the west side it's the view to the drone i am find that confusing but there we are so that's that side so let's go along here put into this this position here so this is where i want the drone to land or i want the drone to go to this position as it happens um oh i'll do so i'll use a bit of salt sand i've got a piece of salt sand here just to just to get the position loaded up so left and right click it like that break the salt sand like that so this is the position the drone's got to go to to control the door as you can see this is on and when that's on the door is open and when it's off the door is closed like that so at the moment that because this is on 15 we need to close the door so when it needs to emit a redstone signal i forgot which color it is so off because the door is closed this is actually a little bit it's not 100 percent safe because when the drone it, when the weather explodes it can push this drone that's fine it'll push it around about like that but if it pushes it further down it's going to go off and then that door should then open you see what i mean so now let's back to the program again so this time we want to first of all we actually want to go to that position so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to have a go to in here let's press tab i want this one like that and the position I want is the weather position where we click just a second ago like this okay let's just drag this into a position like that so this one has got to admit a I and mean, we have to put labels against these so when it is less zero 
which is off then the door can be open and in order to get the door open we need to have a signal of 15 I think so we'll double, double check it and then to close the door we need a signal of zero I might have this the wrong way around no I think it's right like that so there's no redstone signal here and we'll also put down a standby piece I'm not sure exactly where to put it I think it's it should continue down here but I don't think that'll work we'll just try it anyway let's press tap get the standby piece out here if it doesn't work I'll move it or copy it whatever okay so this drone is now hopefully programmed let's see let's put it in let's take it out and let's put it down like this so it's going to fly to that location as you've just seen and then it's going to, actually it has stopped hasn't it oh no it's still flying so it isn't oops i'm on a slime ball <laughs> slime block so this is off here as you can see and the drone the drone is um still flying uh but it's opened this turn the redstone signal on. i need now i need to remove this that's off that's fine it doesn't matter as long as that's off we don't want it on just to double check let's put down a lever down here like this turn it on that should then close the door and it hasn't done <laughs> okay I'm not sure what the, this program is doing on let's just see let's do control and U on it um, entity, entity debugger mm -hmm. Like that one, can have a look at the program. So, <laughs> that's the Wither Drone. Ah, did I just program the Wither Drone? I thought I didn't. Oh, maybe I've just messed it up. Hold on a second. This is the. Ah, for somehow or other, and I don't. Yes, this happened to me last time as well. The door drone got pushed there. You see that the door drone is now working. Now we can have a look at this program better. So let's do. Um, Control and I always get confused as to which one of these I need. Let's have a look at the, the program itself. So it's going down through here and all sides. It doesn't go to standby. I think I might be able to just make it to go to standby as soon as it's gone to this position, and then we don't need to copy the pieces across. So let's just try that. So I need to pick up the drone in this case because we're going to reprogram this particular drone like that. In fact, we might as well put the the wither drone down as well for that matter, because it's that's good. That can go down here like this, and it won't have anything to do except. I think it should just go away. Till we press the button here, we can press the button, and then it should trigger the program to start, and it shouldn't do anything because there's nothing to do at the moment. Anyway, that aside. So I wanted to go to standby mode, don't I? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag these down here and then tell it to go to standby. And then push this in here like that. So it's always night time. I'll be back in a second. Yeah, the odd, odd daylight mob that gets ground before we can start again. Anyway. So now up onto this drone I haven't put it down yet have I? let's put it down like that I'm sure if it goes to its place and it should this time go down it should go into standby mode which it hasn't done <laughs> why not all right oh did I program it so look I've forgotten if I actually program it control U. this time it's actually easier to see it I haven't pressed the entity one control and you no I did no, I didn't program it, did I? I forgot to actually press the programming button. It's a common mistake because it happens. You can, you can ch change the mode of this here, like this. So we've got um, where does it say it? In fact, here, press R to change. So no programmable item inserted. Um, programming mode when pressing the button. If we actually press this one when items inserted. So this time I insert this into here like that. And this should now be programmed. Let's take it out and see if it actually has worked. Did I, for some reason, the wither, the wither drone? Ah, of course, yes. Da, 
Yes, the withered drone, of course, is behaving like this <laughs> because it's using the program in the. So it's acting like in the door drone now, of course. Yes, that's pretty obvious, really, isn't it? So now the door drone has, in fact, stopped. Just to be on the safe side, let's just put it down again. I uh, didn't pick that one up this time. Doesn't matter where I put it down, we'll put it down there. That's the withered drone. I don't want the withered drone. <laughs> Go away. Oh, of course, that won't do anything until we press the button. Well, that's okay. Because let's put the other drone down then. So that should come up here and go to sleep. And it should be off so the door is closed. Fantastic. So now, let's come down here. And we can tell the wither drone to go. So what we've got to do is we've got to break this. So I'll just turn it off. Should open the door, as you can see. I haven't shown you that bit before. We haven't seen that. Let's turn that on again. The drone will close it. The drone will open it. Fantastic. So there's no drone here, so there's it should be open so we can actually access this stuff. Wow, sister. Taking a bit of time. Oops, I forgot to um hold down the alt button in order to do or excavation on it. So now, let's test this thing fully. So the drone's sitting there, okay. Oh, oops, that's a mistake. Because I haven't, what I haven't done is I haven't put in the program, have I? Let's put the program back into here and then bring it out like this so we can see. <laughs> oh, okay. I've made a slight mistake. I'll be back in a minute. I changed the mode, didn't I? Um, and as soon as I inserted it, it copied this program in there and I didn't think about it. I am very sorry. Let me just, uh, I'll be back in a few seconds when I've got this. Uh, let's just change the mode on this before I forget. Um, or I think it is, isn't it? When pressing the button. <laughs> Whoops. I'll see you in a second. Nah, I think I got this right. Hopefully I've got this right. So now we have to give it a test. It's empty. The door should be closed because this is on. Let's just go and press the button and see if the the weather drone does its business. So it should come along here. The door's now open so it can put the bits in from the top. Now it should collect the three slime blocks. Come back again. That's fine. And then it should <coughs> still actually emitted redstone. Probably have to fix that. And then it's put the other two bits in. Comes along here, sets this redstone, and it turns it on. Fantastic. So that's all working just fine. Let's just clear everything off now. In fact, I'll be back in a second when I've cleared it off. I'm also going to change the program, so I'll actually put real heads in there, so I'll get a real a real wither. <laughs> That'll be fun. So let's just break the, break those as well. See you know, I'll see you in a second. So this is the program with the heads instead of this. We could actually do this with variables, but for the time being, we're going to use um, this way. And so let's see if it actually works. Keep your fingers crossed. Um, didn't work. What's wrong with this then? Is it not? Is it not attached? Yeah, everything's attached. It should be importing from the inventory here. Let's get with the skeleton skulls. That's strange. I didn't change anything else. Let's just give it another go. I didn't take anything out of here. And it still didn't take anything out of here. Well, oh, but I haven't got any in. That's obvious, isn't it? But you'll notice it carries on. The program works nicely because now this time it is going to pick up three. And it put away the, the soul sand it got in there. So it's coming back over here. And it's actually affecting this one. So it's still emitting a redstone signal. And there we've got the, <coughs> the wither. It should come back in here in time for the door to close, which it has. I'll get knocked back a bit here. 
like that. The drone also got mapped but this, with this still happily sitting there with its targeting me. <laughs> So I'm going to do my outro with the actual drone being built, and uh, the weather being built, I mean, from the drones. And I wish you all the best. Next time we shall carry on and we'll do a bit of disenchanting, I think. So until then, I wish you all the best. <laughs>